Uh, next, we move on to the um, Canterbury District Health Board, and uh, Sandy Brinson is here, who's um, presented in this submission today. Kia ora, thank you. Kia ora koutou. Yes, apologies. Uh, Dr Anna Stevenson tends to get distracted onto other more pressing issues at this time. But don't stress, it's nothing major with COVID. It's just your usual business. So um, I'm, I'm very happy to, to be here to present... Um, I think really what we wanted to do was come and support you. As you know, we have a really close relationship with um, the City Council and through our joint work plans, climate change is something that we've agreed to work closely on. So part of that is to say we in, in health are try, trying to grapple with the same issues that you are trying to grapple with and the councillors who are involved in around that know that we are not, we're not coming here as any model to, um, to be showing. We just want to be really good partners on this and I think the other thing is that you know this is a really it's a really great document in terms of the, the information that you you know and you strap your objectives and all of the things that you're trying to do but none of it is going to happen by one organization alone and um, while we like others want you to be more bold and um, push things a little further again we just want to say that we are we want to be part of that and we want to continue to support that Probably the piece that um, for us was missing the most was really understanding the co-benefits of climate change and health and well-being. Mm. So they're pretty they're pretty obvious. I don't think it was because people don't know them, but I think it's really useful for people to understand that. So if we have less cars, then people are, are moving more. Then our non-communicable diseases like diabetes, which is ballooning out of control, um, are all going to be improved. Housing is another really obvious one. If we have really good warm homes, then um, they're not going to take as much heating and the materials, etc. And um, there, are, there are many, many examples. Air quality is, it would be an, another really good one. So I think those co-benefits are really useful. I see a lot of people talked in their submissions about education. Um, and so showing people those co-benefits of, of climate change and health and well-being are really important. Um, I think the other thing was there's, there's a little bit of talk around Māori and the Treaty and some partnerships there, I suppose, within... Um, community and public health that you know the treaty's core to what we do and Māori having a really you know front foot in these conversations is really important and it's often interwoven with the equity conversation but they're not actually the same thing the treaty is the treaty is the treaty and equity is about making sure that this the services and the responsibility goes to the communities that need and while they clearly overlap they're not the same thing so it's kind of a message that we're saying to people a lot at the moment so just wanted to to um, pull that one forward as well um, and I think the other thing that we mentioned a little bit was around decision making and in the strategy you've talked about trying to have climate change um, as a part of decision papers that come to the council um, kind of suggesting that that's fine but they have to have some weight and bearing when that comes, not just that they've been considered, and also suggesting that equity comes into this. And I'm no expert in this space, but you know, a clear understanding that the effects of climate change are against a part of the population that is probably not going to be making the decisions. So that, that mix has to come to um, you at the table, really. Um, and we're, we're there to help if there's a way to support that with the ways we've done before with some of the um, assessments and things that we've we've done, it would be great to do something. Um, I think the, the final thing, in case there's any question really, is that we didn't get to talk to the LTP again, just uh, people are a little distracted at the moment in the public health unit, but it would be really good to see some funding and some priorities around this. It was hard to see exactly where that might have been, so apologies if it was there, but we, we couldn't... Um, we couldn't see it. And I just want to um, talk about what other people are saying around urban design and development. You know how supportive we are of the, um, making an active walking and cycling city, and we know how difficult it is. So um, we really think that that is important as well. I think they are my main points. Look, uh, kia ora, and thank you very much for your submission. And, and I should acknowledge that the Canterbury District Health Board is a member of the Greater Christchurch Partnership and a mm. great contributor there. So um, we, we value that. And I, I, I really enjoyed seeing the Barton and Grant Health Map sitting in the submission. And I think we should lift it out and put it into the 
into the strategy itself, just to remind us of how interconnected all these issues are. I think sometimes people do forget the health, the co-benefits, as you call them, um, mm. uh, because they are significant. And um, yeah, I'm not going to say killing two birds with one stone because that probably isn't appropriate. <laughs> but, um, but but the the benefits that we can get across the board in terms of health and well-being. Mm. Yeah. Is there any question? Uh, Sam? Yeah, thanks very much for coming in. I guess in t looking at the climate change and um, keeping things local on that, does the DHB have a particular view on sort of like the, that foreign pool, which has obviously been a, a local issue in terms of health and wellbeing? Not as a DHB. It's, there's probably work happening within the team at Community and Public Health locally right. with communities and so forth, but as a DHB, we don't have not, a, not a, particular a, view. A, okay. a specific position, no. Sure, thank you. No. Thank you. Thank you.